So hello comrades and welcome to another awesome Subnautica's episode. Now today I am going to show you some awesome new things in Subnautica. But before we jump straight into the action, if you like what I am doing here with Subnautica, you are always welcome to press a bell icon on this channel just as shown in the video. That way you are going to get a notification that I upload a new video and I do that every single day. Now comrades, let's go to Subnautica and uh, let's go to a brand new biome. Now, right now, as you can see, we are in the Grand Reef. We are at the end of the Grand Reef. And right here is a crag field, a new, completely new biome that has been implemented in Subnautica. Now, this biome is actually really, really awesome. Now, let's set everything today because we can actually see a little bit better. This biome has everything for you to build a huge, huge base. Now, this biome is big. From one corner to the other, I think it is almost 400 meters. It's filled with only two aggressive creatures, uh, bone sharks and mesmers. Uh, mesmers you can actually avoid pretty easily, bone sharks uh, not so easily, but you can actually avoid them if you stay inside your awesome base. Now, this biome has some awesome materials like copper, diamond, gold, lead, lithium, mercury or metal salvage, quartz, and of course from metal salvage you get titanium. Now, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that there are uh, some tiger plants which can also damage you, but uh, they are not so huge of a damage dealer, so you can actually avoid them pretty easily. Actually, look, they, they twin brothers, they are trying to attack me not going to happen now this biome is actually very strange looking now i think what what we are going to do we are going to set the fog to zero Ooh, so bright uh so the, we can actually see everything pretty clearly now what can we do again we can actually use free cam command and uh, leave our body here and quickly uh, look at this biome now uh, i will leave the coordinates in the description if you would like to go here and check everything by yourselves and uh well i don't know maybe try and look for a base location or uh try and uh look for some reef bags now one more awesome thing uh, why this biome is actually really really cool for a base you could build a base here and you are going to hear the reef bags swimming past by you and emitting that cool uh i think that's low frequency noise that actually is well for me it's calming me a little bit i have no idea is it's if it's only for me or uh it's for everybody but yeah do, do you hear that um, I, I love that sound so Yes, this biome, uh, it looks really awesome. Now, I was thinking a lot why these chunks of rock uh, could form in the position they are right now. You see, they are like huge spikes uh, coming from the ground. And uh, it looks like some sort of a, of a very rocky biome. And uh, well, I come with a small theory. For example, on Earth, uh, mountains are... Uh, being, I don't know, uh, made when the tectonic plates deep inside the Earth's crust are actually colliding and pushing upwards to the sky, uh, the Earth's crust, and that's how the mountains are created. So maybe there is a tectonic plate collision uh, deep inside here, somewhere here we can actually go, but yeah, that's that's just an empty space. and. It, it is forcing the rocks to go up in the sky. That actually could be so awesome. You can see there are some holes here and there. Uh, so yeah, this biome is is really awesome. I hope I'm not uh, missing any, any, anything else. So uh, the biome is actually uh, surrounded by Grand Reef, Crash Zone and Grassy Plateau. Uh, it, again, it's a big biome, uh, not very hostile biome, so you can actually go and uh, start a new life, new base right here. So let's go back into our body and let's bring back the fog. Let's enjoy uh, for the last time this awesome crag biome. And comrades, this episode is not yet over because there are two more things I want you to see. Now, the second thing that I want to show you is a video that was uploaded by one of the developers and it is related with a Cyclops. Now, a Cyclops in this video got a brand new update. You can see here, it got a completely new hood. Uh, you, you can see it shows how much health it has. I, I have no idea what this is. It looks like some sort of a sonar thing or, or whatever. 
It also got a shield. It also got uh, some sort of a, I don't know, flashlight icon. Uh, let's just let's just look at the video. I will leave this video in the description so you can actually see it by yourselves. And look, you can see the force field is actually gliding from one point to the from one side to the other, and. Uh, I want to emphasize one thing, there is only one creature in this game who can actually harm the Cyclops, which is, well, of course, Sea Dragon Leviathan, the, one of the biggest creatures in the game, actually the second biggest, and he can harm the Cyclops, so maybe we need this shield to actually protect against the Cyclops. So this video is not very long, 47 seconds long, and you can see the shield, oh my god, it looks so awesome. You can see here is some sort of a, again, sonar thing or whatever, it is emitting some sort of a, uh, I don't know, uh, waves. I, ha I have no idea, I think I'm, I hope I'm talking correctly, but yeah, the brand new HUD in the Cyclops, it looks really, really awesome. Now, there is one more thing I want to show you, and uh, it is also related with a hood. Now, give me a second, all right? So this is the second video I wanted you to see. And again, I will leave this video link in the description if you want to access it by yourselves. Now, for those who are have already played Subnautica, you can already tell what is a little bit different. And that is, of course, the player hood. Now, this video is actually pretty short, only 25 seconds. And let's go and see what is this video about. So, yeah, I think the player will have his hood updated just as the Cyclops and I think it looks really awesome now I think it's a little bit buggy because you can see that uh, health starvation and everything are going down pretty rapidly and uh, it's it's impossible because uh, this player is not being attacked by anybody and you can see the health is already at almost at zero and yeah the video is almost done so let's check it out again and you can see the uh, the dehydration is going rapidly and rapidly rapidly down so yeah i think they will need the developers need to work a little bit more on this hood on this new awesome looking hood and uh, we are going to i think i hope we'll see that in the near future so comrades i thought i'm going to end this episode right now but there are a few more things i want you to see now subnautica game developers implemented one cool awesome feature you can actually very easily bind your items to the quick slot you can now just take it take them and drag them to the position you want to bind them for example to the third position there are also a uh, different method that i was using for uh whole time you can actually just point the mouse cursor and press one two three four five and as you can see the stasis rifle is uh, being positioned to the different quick slots now right now you can actually just for example take the sea glide and uh, put it in the fifth quick slot that's actually really really awesome new feature and i want you to take a glance at this silver ore for one second as you can see here, the game developers are working on new textures for raw material. For example, I think uh, the aluminum oxide, silver ore and sulfur has been done. And I think the silver ore here in the middle is here in the middle. So uh, it is completely different what we have just seen in the game. I hope it will be implemented soon. I, ho I hope every piece of the uh, raw materials will be done and will be implemented because they will look really really cool oh my god i think comrades i think that's enough for subnautica news uh, today so i know that there has been plenty of news uh, lately i need to go to the secondary research facility in the lost river because oh my god uh, i need to dedicate one full episode for that part because it has so many new cool features implemented into the game and uh, yeah i hope i can actually upload that video the next video pretty soon and yeah comrades i hope you enjoyed this video with the new crack field with new awesome uh, cyclops shield ability awesome new hood with the player new hood i hope they will be implemented pretty soon i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then you are always welcome to leave a like consider becoming a comrade today and as always i will see you all tomorrow in the next video 
Bye.